Hello guys, uh, hope you all guys doing very well. Today I have Corolla 2020 and uh, I am going to make a little review of uh, Autel MP808 TS. How we will check what kind of functions we have, what kind of functions we have in, in the tire pressure monitor system. Uh, I did the video. Uh, we will go into the uh, transmission section and we will see what kind of uh, coding we get on this uh, auto device i did the review for the x tool uh, if anyone want to if anyone need to um, see what is the difference between x tool and the auto you can uh, link if you can click up uh, link and you can check the video of the X tool also. So let's get into the Toyota. Basically, this is a little comparison between X tool and uh, the Autel also. Uh, it is a little review of the Autel device, what kind of functions you have. Uh, we will directly go into the transmission section and we will see what kind of coding Otel can handle. North America, radar cruise, without smart key, with electric brake, yes. There is a little difference between speed, uh, the X tool, uh, just get into the modules, but uh, Autel takes some time. We will go into the engine and ECT, hit OK. Then we will go into the special function. look we have uh, we have little more uh, um, functions uh, than X tool we have uh, air fuel oxygen sensor operation um, actually these functions these two functions are useless I don't use them uh, learning value reset we have this on the X tool reset memory uh, automatic transmission fuel thermal degradation estimate reset evaporate check uh, pressure sensor calibration uh, declaration sensor point manual oil reset manual throttle matching so it, there is little difference between this and the and the x tool um, so uh, this tool also can do radar calibration but but this tool will not show you how you should then then the calibration but the x tool have a, a professional level um, ADAS function it will also teach you how how to use uh, how to use the uh, calibration tool step by step uh, this can do the calibration but uh, this tool will not teach you anything uh, you have to do calibration on your own so let's get into the tire section and see what kind of functions we get actually uh, if you need to use the uh, reader on this device for the tire sensor you have to uh, get back from the diagnostic section then enter into the TPMS section uh, then we will select you can select the market uh, from this side uh, you have to go into the north you can you you have to select what kind of uh, vehicle you have this one is North America so I select the North America then we will go into the tutor for the tire pressure system you have to have 
connect this device to the internet hit ok please make sure diagnostic tool is connected to the network so you have to uh, connecting to the internet to obtain data so for the data you have to have connect this tool to the to the internet so this is the information this is the part number hit ok so now you can uh, check the tire sensor and the status of the battery i will show how you can do this you just need to uh, touch this corner uh, right front of the tire sensor then hit trigger and if the sensor is working it will show right here the battery status tire temperature id and the pressure in the tire by doing this you can um, check all the four sensors uh, after you after you read the ids you can go into the relearn section uh, then uh, hit obd relearn it will do uh, relearn by its own it will write all the ids correctly into the vehicle uh, you can use uh, hotel sensor by uh, going into the programming section uh, you can copy the sensor from the obd you can uh, auto create the sensor in the auto create you will you have to enter any id you like uh, you can also uh, see if there is a trouble code in the module you can uh, you can uh, check if there is any DTC or uh, you can check if uh, there is any problem in the live data sometimes you need to go into the live data to check where is the id's location uh, so uh, this is the tool um, you can uh, you can do tires uh, and you can also uh, do many things like other tools can do but this one is very slow slow means very very slow so if you have no issue with the slow response you can go with this device otherwise you you should buy uh, you should buy any any professional level device uh, but uh, when you get the other device you will not get the tire pressure uh, system on that you have to uh, buy this separately so this is your choice thank you very much please do subscribe to my channel